Gang, 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 what up, man? Y'all subscribe, man. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all know how I'm coming. Hey, I wasn't going to record at first. I said, you know what? I really ain't feel like it. But then, you know what? Sometimes you do got to feel like uh, doing the things you don't feel like doing. That's what make you a successor. That's what make you a prodigy of your own environment. Hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that subscribe, y'all. We getting right into it. Rummy yo, rummy yo, and Master P, man. Look, I did a little bit. I touched up a little bit about it, and I don't want to get on there to shun nobody, but at the end of the day, man, yeah. <clears throat> like I said the other day, Master P, uh, take no disrespect. And that's for any parent, though. Any parent. You know, fuck that. This ain't even just about P. Miller, man. Take no disrespect, period. At all, as a parent coming up. You know, um, some of these kids don't know how hard the parents got it, gang. Uh, uh, you know, but if you just doing wrong by the kid, then that's that's on you. If you just doing wrong by the kid, man, that's on you, you know. It's a lot of stuff, too, that uh, some parents are trying to how to act like they not doing wrong, but man, sometimes, man, there's parents out here that ain't doing wrong, and they really trying their hardest to take care of them shorties out there, and uh, you got these kids out there, they're backbite on a parent that act like a motherfucker don't do shit for them, listen, you talk disrespectful ass out the way, that's how I look at it, you talk disrespectful ass out the way, um, you know, that shit ain't cause for, right there, you motherfuckers better start respecting and understanding and respect your elders, y'all ain't got no respect for the elders, man, what the fuck wrong with niggas? No respect at all. You see Romeo and his pops going right at it over some bitch shit, over some money shit. That's what the fuck it's about. And at the end of the day, um, I feel like this. I feel like, you know, man, you got to have more respect for that, man. Have more respect. Um, You know, just simple and plain. Plain as that, man. Hurry up with that ball. Plain as that. You feel me? I tell my kids the same shit. Motherfuckers be disrespectful. You got to lean into their ass. Some of your parents ain't whooping ass out there. Whoop that ass, man. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Fuck what another motherfucker think about you. This world be full of opinions. And stop going through that door, fool. This this world, this world, uh, you know, full of opinionated bastards. Fuck what the motherfuckers telling you about your kids. They not finna make sure your kids good. They not finna save them. They ain't finna uh, put their life on the line for your kid. A motherfucker act like it. Nigga, they own grandparents ain't gonna put their life on the line for them. You got to. They put their life on the line for you. If it was necessary, at the end of the day, nobody should be putting their life on the line for nobody when you ain't taking disrespect. And then if you teaching your kid respect and the, and the right proper amount of respect, morals and values, you ain't got to worry about nobody want to bust your kid here like T.I. got to do with Charleston White and his son. You ain't. You ain't going to have to worry about that shit. Believe it or not, it's going on and it's taking place out here. But that don't mean everybody of nature got to, you know, follow that suit. Everybody ain't got to go down that background. Mm mm. That role ain't going to be, you know, accessible to everyone. That's why I be telling y'all, man, fuck that. Make sure you take no disrespect. Some of you parents out there take too much disrespect. Fuck you talking about bust that kid head. Ain't nobody playing like that. And if you're and if you a God friend, motherfucker, you already know that's the truth. Put it on that kid. You letting that kid sit there disrespect you, running up uh, miles of stress on your ass. You feel me? Uh, uh, make you feel like uh, the world is coming down and falling down on you, gang. No, that's not the case. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. That ain't the case. We got to start parenting, right? We got to start parenting. Y'all seen my Milwaukee beef too, man. Them little shorties was killing each other. Killing each other, man. They killing each other, gang. I'm telling you. Like, man. End of the day, some shit we don't got to go through as black folks. Some shit After we take ourselves to. Romeo needs to stop yeah. trying to get people to feel sorry for him. Also says that they've been living month to month since he was 18. I loved you so much that I followed you blindly for 30 plus years. In this, he said this new, and Master P's response was this new generation of kids need to stop blaming their parents for- Yeah, man, that's true. Stop blaming your motherfucking where parents. They get are on y'all get on your shit. That's what I'm saying, though. That's disrespecting itself, though, gang. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm, I'm listening to it myself. <laughs> y'all looking at the blogs. You check out what's going on with Master P and his son. You see that? That's disrespect, definitely, among the black family. The motherfuckers don't know how hard parents got it already and how hard some parents go. Uh, 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 the fight they got to go through to get what they need to make sure the kid's happy and themselves. Like, that shit is, is it, and ain't no hop skipping to jump. That shit is a hurdle, my nigga, a leap and a journey. Fuck you talking about, y'all don't even understand that. You got friends out there, too, that'll help you go against your parents, you dumb fuck. Y'all got to get y'all mind right, new generation, or whatever the fuck y'all want to be. All I know is half of the new generation is going to be the motherfuckers that's taking care of us. When we get old, look, 
Get y'all shit right. And stop blaming everybody. Get off y'all ass. Do something. Do something. Do something, nigga. Get up. Get off your ass. Do something. Make something happen. Go viral. Be the next entrepreneur. Be the next mayor. Be the next uh, uh governor. Do something like that, man. That's what I'm saying. You can't blame everybody. I remember, like I told y'all before in a couple of videos, I used to blame people for my downfalls. I used to blame, you know, everybody else for my downfalls. Well, really, it's me. I got to blame myself. I got to blame myself for the shit I don't want to get up and do. I got to blame myself for the shit that I do do and I put half-ass work in it. Simple as that. Some of y'all don't want to take responsibility. Some of y'all don't even believe that you should take responsibility. It's funny because y'all want to play that victim role and act like, hey, yo, everybody else is responsible for what you do. That ain't true. You responsible for that shit, gang. You is. Mm -hmm. You is, dog. Y'all know that. Y'all know that, man. You is, gang. I told you I was going to show y'all what this was. I ain't going to tell y'all what this was. Y'all probably still know, though. You see the cord and it's charging up. At the end of the day, though, man, you is you're responsible for everything in your life after a certain age in your life, gang. Stop putting that shit off on your family members like they put a gun in your head and made you do anything that you're doing right now or go through anything you're going through because they didn't do that shit, gang. You did. So now I'm telling you how to come up out of it. How? Turn it around. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You turn it around. You take no disrespect. How to not take no disrespect? Stop putting yourself around people or putting yourself in situations where you get disrespected at. No, that's as simple as that. You feel me? You're, you're worth more than that. So why the fuck are you luring yourself down to these situations and circumstances when it's unnecessary, when it, it don't got to happen like that. So that means you ain't got to take disrespect. You choose to. And just because you taking disrespect don't mean go out there and dish it. Because once you dish it, you're going to get only what you dishing out. Nigga, you read what you saw. If you out there sowing them bad seeds, like I told you in the last video, that's all you're going to get. You got some wagers coming for that. You got some wagers coming for that, gang. A motherfucker going to pay you real good, and you got to make sure you're ready for that payment because at the end of the day, everybody ain't ready for that payment from that man upstairs. And that's why you probably been going through what you're going through. You ain't praying. You ain't you ain't got down on your knees and pray. to said, take me up out of this shadow. No, you didn't. You see what I'm saying? But yet you you willing to judge and point that finger at other motherfuckers. You, 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 you. No, it don't work like that, gang. When you sit down and you put your mind to it and you start focusing, recognizing what you're doing wrong, I guarantee everything going to change. You're going to be like, okay, I get it. I get it now. And then the thing is, though, to make sure you really got it. Don't just say you get it and you don't got it. Make sure you really got that shit. Make sure, you know what I'm saying? You understand how it's flowing. How the algorithm of whatever it is you're trying to dodge or whatever it is you're trying to come out. Understand how it's flowing. You know, it'll be a better fight for you on the end. You ain't gonna have to, you know, tussle as hard. The fight will look much easier. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The fight gonna be much easier. Some people don't know that. Some people been fighting all their life with no help on the side or, you know what I'm saying? No uh, motivation, no push, no pump. That They don't even know that the fight could be that much easier or the fight was almost over when they gave up. That's how it be. You know what I'm saying? So take no disrespect. Trust me. Take no disrespect at what you do at all. Always stand on what you believe in. Stand on you. Stand on you, man. You know what I'm saying? Stand on the shit you believe in because if you don't, nobody going to believe in you. And if you don't believe in yourself, then, you know, that's, 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 that's rough. You don't believe in yourself, so you got to stand up, stand up, stand tall, stand positively. You know, always change your mindset right there. You know, whenever you find yourself, man, change your mindset to the positive side. You ain't flip that shit over because the moment you let that negative, you know, uh, energy roll in your motherfucking dock, once it come off that ocean into your dock, it's over. Your whole motherfucking, your, your borderland going to be full of it. So you don't want that, gang. Always change your narrative. You feel me? Make sure your narrative change for the, the better purpose. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, stays popping that truth. Like I said, whatever you dish out, you're going to receive. So if you dishing out positive energy, gang, you're going to receive it. Fuck what you heard. Uh, learn to stop hating them other motherfuckers who hate you. Fuck them. Let them hate. It's a reason they hating. you doing what you're supposed to be doing, gang. Similar as that, how, how else can we put it? you doing something right. You're doing something right that let you know that and keep doing that right. You feel me? Hit that subscribe button, too, man, while y'all here. Y'all know what up. Hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I won't go drop now, but I had to. I got on anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> Got to keep up. Got to got to keep up the content. Got to you know keep popping, and that's how that shit gonna flow. So as long as y'all subscribe, hit that like button, share this video, um, 
Stay coming to the channel, getting this content game. I guarantee you'll never be disappointed. I'm always fill you with some. I got some more information coming too, man. I got some information coming on that ten year old boy who killed his mom. You know what I'm saying? Being charged with murder. Um, I got a few other stories coming too, gang, uh, from my city and my state. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I stick to the street shit and that's street university. That's why I call my shit kind of street university, right? And when you come over here, you're gonna learn what's going on in my streets and my state and my city. And I'll let her learn what's going on in yours too, man. You know, all you gotta do is comment, hit me, subscribe though, most definitely. Don't get to talking and commenting my shit if you ain't subscribed. I don't I don't fuck with nobody who ain't subscribed, nigga. You you one of them spies or something like that. You feel me? So, you know, at the end of the day, let me rock myself on out this bitch. And um, we're going to get the 16 second out of it. But y'all stay up. Love y'all, man, for y'all time, man. Stay coming back. Stay popping in. Uh, Join this motherfucker. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. It ain't going to hurt. It's free, too. I'm out. Man, you bitch niggas better end your butt elevate. I need six figure money. Won't have the bucks and hella cake. Fuck boy, I've been on dummy. Shooting hella ops, make them a day. If not him, then kill his mama. Make him feel his wrath and the hell away. Hydro shock, but it's out. Make him his chest. Watch as they swim away. I don't stop shooting till you die in your last breath. And then I skid away. This